This is the USB barcode scanner that we provide in Europe. You can get these pretty much anywhere in the world. They're fairly inexpensive and very easy to use. Uh, it's a fairly simple unit. It just connects to a USB port on a Windows machine. Uh, it has a button on the front which says to the scanner that you're ready to uh, scan. And you can see when I press that, that it illuminates the, uh, the scanning head. This is what's called a contact scanner. So the barcode reader has to be uh, either directly in contact with the uh, barcode or uh, maybe as much as 10 or so uh, millimeters uh, away from it, not quite, uh, not quite half an inch or about half an inch. Uh, before I show you how the barcode scanner actually is used in practice, I just want to show you a fairly simple handling tip about the cards themselves. And that is that we want to be able to actually uh, turn the cards over with one hand while we're using the barcode scanner in the other. So the first thing I'm going to do is to uh, take um, a reasonable number of cards, about a, an inch, a couple of centimeters off the top here, uh, and just work with those in this instance. So put those out of the way. Um, the main thing is I'd like to be able to pick them up like this, scan them, turn them over, but I can't do that easily in their current state because they will, uh, I will end up picking up multiple cards very, very easily. So um, what I'm going to do is to fan them. Now this seems to be something of a lost art, so I'll just show you how this is done. Um, I pick the cards up and I'm going to uh, grab them in my right hand and press with my thumb. And I'm going to bend the cards and then grab them with my left hand and press with that thumb. And I'm going to repeat that until I've got the cards fanned out. It's a bit like fanning cards when you're, when you're playing uh, bridge or poker or something like that. Uh, and now you can see that I've got quite a nice uh, uh, slope to the cards and then I can easily pick one card up and turn it on its own. I'm going to show you how quickly we can scan the barcodes uh, doing that. I should mention that if you're using a lot of writing information, you do have to stop and type that in. So um, things like group names, participant names. Um, if you're doing a very open sort where you've invited participants to uh, make up new items, you'd have to stop and type those in as well. But if it's a closed sort particularly, then everything can be done with uh, the barcode reader. I'll just show you how the way I like to do it, there are several different ways that you can do it, is to just place the barcode reader on top of the barcode and pull the trigger. When it works, as you can see, we got a little beep and um, we also got uh, the flashing uh, red light on the, on the back of the scanner. So I'll just do that again so you can see it. If you uh, pick up a card and you notice that the uh, LED is still illuminated on the front, it means that the last barcode wasn't scanned correctly. So uh, you either need to, you need to go back or just look at the screen and see if you think you've scanned that. Uh, here I've actually got a write-in group name, so I'm going to not scan that one. I'm just simply going to reach over on, on the laptop and type in G for group, followed immediately by the word finance. And I shan't scan that one at all. There's an item, another group, this one is PAs. Shan't scan that. But I'm just now going to start scanning to show you how quickly I can do this. So even if I might have stopped um, and uh, typed something in, I'm, I'm not going to do that just now, just so you can see how quickly this whole thing can work. Notice when I'm actually scanning item cards that I'm looking at for the barcode that's got the tick next to it. And you can, if you wish, bring the barcode to you rather than you going to the barcode. There's the other possibility. Certainly you can build, your, uh, build up your rhythm and you can build up your own technique, so you don't have to do it exactly like this, but if you're going to be doing any quantity of this, then uh, it's good just to uh, work out what makes things faster for you and what slows you down. So that'll give you a flavor for how this can actually be done. I just picked up two cards there, which is the problem, and maybe more fanning is necessary. It does happen occasionally. And so it goes. I won't uh, keep you guessing how that works. When you're done, you uh, obviously want to keep things in the original order so you can go back and check for any duplicates or sort out any other problems. 
Uh, one thing to mention is that as you're going through, you will see the data on the screen. We use Notepad, um, and uh, it's best if you can make sure that uh, uh, every time you, you go in to look at the data, that you put the cursor back at the, at the bottom of the file. I'll show that in a, in a separate uh, screen-oriented uh, recording that uh, you can see later.